Hello world, Shelly here, and today I am excited to announce the launch of the Dragon Eye eyeshadow palette from What's Up Beauty. They are a new brand to me. I get probably a hundred emails a week from all different places, companies, people trying to get me to review things. I mean, I've had offers to review gas-powered leaf blowers and every any beauty thing you can imagine and kids toys and you name it i don't even read most of the emails i don't even open them if you can't get me from the subject line to even click into your email then it's just not going to happen i just delete all of them because most of them are going to be things that i'm not interested in but when you put a dragon on an eyeshadow palette it catches my eye i even put on my guild t-shirt today any other uh, Felicia Day fans out there? So it caught my eye. I'm not familiar with What's Up Beauty. They're based out of Arizona. They have a physical location there. It appears that they started in the nail industry, like acrylics and dips and polish and all of the supplies for professional nail artists and, you know, the stamping and all that. And then it appears expanded into beauty. So their beauty line is growing. They have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. This one dropped today. It is available now. And they actually reached out on me, reached out to me. Was it email or was it Instagram? Now I can't remember. But uh, yeah, they got my attention. And I they asked if I'd like some PR. I said, yes, please. I would love to check this out. I just finished playing Dungeons and Dragons when they, when they messaged me, like when I read that message. So, uh, I just got to show you up close. This thing is gorgeous. It's got like color shift. Look at this. It was beautiful in the pictures and it is just as gorgeous in person. And here's the inside. The camera is not doing these glitters justice. They're just, I haven't, I haven't even swatched them yet. They're, they're color shifting glitters. They also sent me their mascara and they sent me their eye brush kit. Now they are talc free, clean and cruelty free. Uh, they're not vegan. So for example, these are goat hair brushes. Who's that sound like? Uncut goat hair sounds a lot like our friend Wayne. These are made in Japan and, uh... They feel wonderful. They feel, you know, you're not going to get goat hair vegan, but oh, they feel amazing. I'll tell you that. But I want to show you one of them in the packaging still because they have a really good unboxing experience. Like it feels like a really nice product. So, you know, you open the box, right? And the, just like Apple does where they give you the little tab that makes it real easy to pull the product out. It's in this very nice protective foam container and then of course you just pop your brush out and you've got pink handles pink wooden handles the ferrule and then uncut undyed goat hair as the brushes so I'm going to use these brushes and that'll be the plan so thank you for sending me these in PR what's up beauty I I'm under no obligation or contract to make this video. I am not getting paid to make this video. I don't think I even have a commission link with them. I don't think I have an affiliate link. I'll have to go back and see if they've got such a thing, but I need to show you these colors. We need to swatch these. This is so up my alley, the pinks and the purples and having that accent shade. You know what is so wild? Let me put this up here again. This shade on camera is looking like teal, but it's purple shift. Can I make it shift purple? It's, to my eyeballs, it's literally purple. And it it's purple to teal. Oh my goodness, it's gonna match my Jeep. All right, let me just, I need a makeup wipe. I need to, sw I need to swatch these. So this palette dropped today, November 17th, yes. Drops today, it's $45, it is made in Italy. I'm a big fan of Made in Italy eyeshadows. I don't know all of the ins and outs of the different labs and whatnot in Italy, but I do know that there's a high likelihood that if it's made in Italy, I'm going to like it if it's an eyeshadow. All right, I got me a little makeup wipe here. Let's get a Kleenex, dry Kleenex, and I'm just gonna swatch some of these glitters. I just have to. 
Oh, how, what's the best way to do this even going to be? I need to swatch that teal purple. <gasps> oh, this is not the teal purple. This is the, like, the champagne. Here's the teal purple. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I swear to you, it is purple to my, oh, it's purple to my eyes. But it's teal and purple. Oh, my. The camera is not getting this. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me swatch a couple more. Oh, gotta get the other finger, too. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing, that's called scales. I'm gonna do the one above it, fire, and I'm gonna do magic. Where am I gonna put them? I don't know. Here's fire. That one is like an orange to gold. Here's magic. Oh, it's got pink in it too. How? It is, I can't see it on my monitor. It's only when I look in person. Yeah, okay, well, this one's magic. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm just losing my mind right now. How do I make you see? Oh, this one's like a mauve lavender. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh. And then I think there's two more that I didn't swatch. All right. This one's monster, and this one is fierce. Oh no, there's a couple I missed, but it's okay. Here's monster. All right, let me see what it looks like in real life. That is like a pink to lavender, but it's a cool toned lavender. And then fierce is the green one. It is like a green to lime to gold. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. And then of course there's the mattes that are perfect cool undertones. Okay, okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. All right, where's my MAC Paint Pot? We're gonna go in with some MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And as soon as I get this on my eyes, I will zoom you in. I'm just realizing I did not put any concealer on yet. Gonna have to do that. I have my foundation on. Have not done the rest of my face yet. That will come next. All right. Let me zoom you in, and we'll do this up close, shall we? Let me check my lighting. Are we bright enough? Yeah, we should be good. Okay, now, here are their brushes that we've got. Already got cat hair on one. Here's what we are dealing with. Flat Packer. This one's similar to the Sigma E25. You guys, I broke my nail. I have not had a broken nail since in the past seven months, so I'm kind of losing my mind. It feels so weird. I don't want to point with my middle finger though, so this one is a somewhat dense, like somewhat firm definer brush. That's a crease blending brush, that's a crease blending brush, and that is a liner brush. I am going to take number 104, which is the biggest of the blending brushes and this shade creature here the this is not the lightest oh do I want that one or do I want to stay on the mm. they organize this really well too because you can really like live on this side of the palette and be like those cool lavenders or you can kind of be on this side of the palette and you're a little bit more in the pinky land Actually, I think I'm going to go on Purple Land, so I'm going to start with Spikes. This one right here on my 104, the bigger blending brush. And take this as my crease transition. 
I love brushes of this shape. It's similar to how Wayne Goss does his too, where it's got the point so you can get in to that hood, but it splays out a bit. So this one doesn't splay quite as broadly as the Wayne Goss number three, which is my holy grail brush, but it is a bit longer. So you do kind of get that similar effect by anchoring it in the hood like that and then doing the splay where it splays out. I don't know if you can tell what I'm like. Am I saying that right? Am I understandable? Yeah, I don't know. Next, I'm going to take the R105 and the shade Powerful, this purple matte here. This is the brush that is a bit similar in shape to the Sigma E25. It's that flat brush. And I'm going to take this into the crease. I like this shape because it keeps the product primarily in the crease. It's easy to tuck into the crease. Doesn't have as much of the fanning out as the other one because I don't want to cover all of what I had just put down. I just want a little bit of overlap. So this gives you just enough overlap and not so much that you lose what you just did. I'm going to take the flat packing brush, the R106, and the last matte on this side, Smoke. And I'm just going to put down a little bit of a base in this outer corner. We're going to put some glitter in here because of course we are. But I just want to give some darkness and depth to that outer corner before we put the glitter down. That's a nice mat. I know that I have a little unblended spot there. Don't worry. We're gonna get, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay, same brush. I just wiped it off. We're gonna use that lavender monster shade. And let's see how these glitters apply with a brush first. We'll probably end up going in with fingertips, but they apply pretty good with a brush. That's not bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh yeah, they layer on fine with a brush. So if you're the kind that doesn't like to use your fingertips with eyeshadow, you're fine, you're fine. All right, I wiped it off and I'm going to go into that shade Magic. They look so boring on camera and they look so amazing in person. I really, really can't even fathom what I'm seeing here. Magic has that little bit of like that orangey tone to it. Where the other one has the purpley tone to it. Oh man, that is nice. I'm gonna take the 103, which is the smaller of the blending brushes and go back into that first shade we used, Spikes. And first, I'm just gonna get a little blend to make sure we don't lose that original shade, right? And blend it up just a little. See, there we go. Fixing that thing. But I feel like, I think, what I wanna do is also go into a little bit of this coral shade breath, this map. Oh, just a tiny little bit. And I'm just gonna, since this is such a good precision tip brush, I just want the smallest bit kind of looking like the sunrise or the sunset. Just a little bit. I'm barely touching my eye right now. Drawing the shape that I want, not the shape that I have. All right, kicked up the light just a little bit. It's getting, getting darker, darker, darker. All right, this is the 102. I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight with that shade Fly right here. And see how... <laughs> Oh, 
the micro glitters on this are just so good. So good. Oh, I can't even. Oh, what's up, beauty? Where you been all my life? Making dragon palettes and friggin' glitters that are killing me. Like, oh. Alright, the last brush I need to try is the 101, the little, the little shader guy. I think I'm going to use smoke, and that will be my lower lash line. I'm just going to stay on the outer part of my lower lash line. Just about halfway. Okay, I got the rest of my face on. I did use the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Pencil. Brows are the ColourPop Brow Pencil and Jones Road Brow Gel. I wanted to use the mascara from What's Up Beauty. There we go, the Watch Me Mascara. All right, let me show you. They've got this hybrid brush, which has the thicker bristles on the bottom to layer in the product. And then you use the longer bristles you flip it over and use the longer bristles to pull that product from the root of your lashes all the way through. So flip it over, pull it through. I did curl my lashes off camera. This is nice. That's one pass. Let me give you both eyes. <laughs> There's one pass. I usually do two dips, so that was the first dip, so I would go in, get some product on the wand, come in with dip number two. I usually won't go back to step one, I usually just do the pulling it through for that second dip. Alright, I like it. There's, there's my two dips on this side, nothing on this side. Here is the finished look. Ah, it's so pretty. On the rest of my face, I've got the Art Class Contour slash Bronzer. I use it as both, basically. And ColourPop Good Energy Blush. I have a smidge of the Jones Road Miracle Balm in Happy Hour, which has, I used it as highlight, and it's just got a little bit of shimmer reflect to it. It is gorgeous. And my lip is the ColourPop Blotted Lip, still an icon, with a little bit of the COSRX Lip Plumper that I recently got over the top. What do you think? I think... Where you been all my life, what's up, beauty? Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for sending me these. This is freaking gorgeous. The brushes, lovely, wonderful set of brushes, highly recommend. Beautiful look, gorgeous eyeshadow palette, and the mascara is lovely. I have no complaints. In fact, this is staying on my vanity because dragons and glitter. There you have it. My take on brand new to me brand. Bravo, what's up, beauty? If I'm ever in Arizona, I will come by and say hi. <laughs> Don't know when the next time I'll be out that way is, but hey, uh, go check them out. If you are anywhere near them, I will put a link down below to their websites. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.